Okay, I have saved it. Now we have two keys. We got one from that dude. Maybe that only opened that chest over there. Uh, the gate, the gate and the chest, I guess. Uh, but maybe it does more. I really don't know. More! Uh, but we have that key, which may or may not do some more. And we have the key that we just got from that ghost thing. So, yeah, I know there was quite a few doors down the bottom. That one in particular, that required keys. So, I'm going to go down there and check those out. Just want to make sure I haven't missed anything up here first. You have anything, sir? No, you do not. You're the worst thing ever. I'm pretty sure I said... Yeah, I did search him because I had to get the key off of him. What's this? Wait a minute, are those... Oh, the dragons are gone. Okay. I can't search the ash pile, apparently. Hmm. I could just ethereal and then jump off. That is one option. Could save some serious backtracking. There was a, a door over there as well, wasn't there? Let's go check that one out first, I guess. But, because I'm lazy... I'm the Kron. Seriously? Yeah, you know, I'm not even gonna deal with that guy. He'll just one shot me with a bow or something. Just fuck him. Fuck him. There we go, fortress key. Okay, so whilst I was editing this, it actually wouldn't let me save the file. Uh and it turned out that a tiny bit of footage here was corrupted. I have no idea why. Uh, luckily I got interrupted like about 30 seconds into this dungeon so I stopped and started the recording again. The rest of the footage seems to be fine so I'm afraid I'm just going to have to cut out the 30 seconds but all you really missed was me walking in and turning left. Literally that is all you missed here. It is very fortunate that I got interrupted otherwise I probably wouldn't have stopped the recording for quite a few minutes. So yeah I apologize for missing out like me me turning left in this dungeon, but yeah, like I said, for whatever reason, it's become corrupt, and I don't know why, so... Whatever, enjoy the video. Okay, another interruption there, my apologies. There's a bunch of dudes in here. Oh, there's one right in front of me. Wow, I only just spotted that guy. Yeah, nice. Couldn't possibly have missed him with that arrow, but apparently I did. Warlock. Who did I alert? There's someone over here. There he is. Apparently not very strong. I'm reluctant to waste the arrow on him, but I guess we have to. Holy shit. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, he's face planting the desk. Educate yourself. I got him in the balls of that. There is a lot of dudes here. That is not a guy. That is definitely not a guy. Do you have a bow? You look like a bowman. Well, you have my arrow in you. That's a start, I guess. Elven sword. Oh, jeez, man. Look how many there are. Yay, 87 sneak. Oh, I don't know which one to attack. You, and you, and you, and you, no, and you. Seriously? Where are my arrows going, Skyrim? Seriously. What the fuck? What? Okay, I'm starting to get pissed off now. go. only wasted like 10 of them. Yep, we're down to Orcish. Let's put the pain ones back on, try and take out these guards. We're guards. Holy shit. Why is nobody becoming alert in here? This is very strange. Again, I'm kind of okay with that. Ah. Sure is. Sure is, buddy. That's it, you just stand there and die. Boom, son! Oh, look at this sword go. And there it lands. That was nice and easy for once. OK. 
Okay. Spent there's a trap here that's just gonna destroy me. I know how to lockpick. Apparently I don't know how to lockpick. Wow. Guessing that's not a normal chest. I don't need that stuff. Uh you're a caitiff? It's Cat Sith from Final Fantasy VII. So how do we open this? See, here's the question. I probably screwed something up by arching those dudes out, but uh, whatever. Um, how do we open that? There's probably a pull chain around here that I'm missing that's really obvious. I've probably already passed it. What am I looking at this? Something weird. Uh, let's go search around. Paul Jane? Nope. Paul Jane? Nope. So again, this is what I'm saying about the design. Look at that. That looks awesome. There's gotta be something. Oh. Door. Keeper's primary gate is now open. What? How do I get up there? Is there another one? No. How do I get up there? Uh, am I not meant to get up there? I don't know. I guess we have to come back. Uh, so what's the primary gate? That might be the one with the skull on that was out in that open area. I don't think... I don't know, man. I'm confused. It doesn't look like we can open that. Anyway, I searched around the room, but as you've seen, I can plainly... Let's get the crap out of me. I can plainly miss things that are right under my nose. Well, I guess we'll leave here for now, and maybe we come back. I really don't know. Right, let's go check out the big gate with the skull on it, because... If that's not the primary gate, then I really don't know what is. Oh, fuck off. too busy for your shit. I mean, this looks like kind of... It's getting stuck. This looks like kind of a primary gate to me. That was weird. No. Needs a key. Alright, well, color me completely fucking confused. I've just been wandering around here for ages trying to find another door. I look down here. I'm where uh, I killed that ghost thing that come out of that. It looks like the gate's open to me. Hey! So what the fuck? Like... I just, what? This doesn't make any sense. I didn't do anything. Right, but we can't get through that one. Is there a pull chain anywhere? No. What does the journal say? I unlocked the primary gate of the Keeper's Stronghold, but maybe it's not enough to get to the shrine. The Keeper's primary gate is not open. Right. So it's, it looks like we've got to do something else. But what? I don't know where we haven't been. Alright, I may or may not have found something of significance. Okay, so just above this door where we went in, down there, uh, you can sort of climb down this spiral staircase from above where I killed that sort of ghost thing. There's a chain here. That gets rid of that. And I can see a chain on the other side there, so maybe that does something we need. I don't know. It can't hurt, I guess. It's probably just a trap that will instantly kill me and prove me wrong and, and actually will hurt me, but we'll see. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything else. I've equipped this mace as well because it's got quite a lot more damage than um, what we had. So what did that do? Oh, you know what? I bet I know what that did. Bang! Yeah, just let's get to that. That's what I figured. Okay. Well... It's a nice secret and everything, but um, not what we're looking for. We need to find a well. I'm going to check in here. All right, I've been everywhere outside. I have to have missed something in here. I just have to have done. What does this do? Why would I want to do that? I don't get it. Whatever. Let's go back to this room. Now, I've pulled that lever. That opened the gate outside, but what was the point of me killing these guys if I can't do anything here? Why is there a chain here? How did I miss that? 
There's one there as well. Holy shit, I need to open my eyes more. Whatever. Let's charge the bow. Get it out. Because I can see there's a freaking dude sitting in a throne right there. Look. Quick save. Alright, so we got a problem here. Basically, first of all, let me show you. Sneak attack, glass arrows. That's how much damage he does to him, yeah? Then, of course, like everything else, he's going to one-shot us. Now, that's pretty standard. We kind of expect that. But the way I've been dealing with that so far is to transform into Vampire Lord, paralyze, and just beat the shit out of them whilst they're paralyzed. Yes? But, Skyrim being Skyrim, this is what happens when I now try and turn into Vampire Lord for inexplicable reasons. Try and transform. Nothing. Bows disappeared from my hand. We are stuck. Oh, there's the bow again. I can fire the bow. But can I switch off of the bow onto anything? No. Can I come out of third person anymore? Nope. Uh, can I open the quick favorites menu? Nope. Can I open the inventory? Nope. And uh, this is doing this every single time. I've tried completely rebooting the game. I've tried, uh, you know, quick saving, reloading the quick save, blah, blah, blah. It, this is doing this every single time, and I've even tried leaving it for several minutes to see if he does eventually change. Nothing's happening. I'm just stuck like this, and I can't do shit all. So this is Skyrim in a nutshell. We can't turn to the Vampire Lord anymore for some unknown fucking reason, so I don't know how I'm going to beat this guy. Alright, here goes nothing. Ah! What the fuck? Does the mace paralyze? It certainly seems to. Well... That fire is kicking the crap out of me, so what I'm going to do is uh, resist fire, resist magic, regenerate, 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 wrong one, that's okay. Uh, let's use one of these insane elixirs that we got. Yeah, that one. Maybe we will actually stand a chance. You never know. Get away from the fire, bro. Away from the freaking fire, you're pissing me off. Apparently, we might actually stand a chance here. Color me shocked. I'm taking like tons of damage just from being near this guy, it's pretty ridiculous. Well, this is a cheap mace, but I guess, I guess it kind of makes sense with how difficult this game is. Uh, this mod, sorry. Well, thank God for that. What the fuck is going on? Right, what have you got? Please have a key or something. It's got a bunch of Daedric armor. I think a full set. Maybe? Apart from the helmet, I guess. Keep his key! I guess that's what we need. Kill the keeper and remove the ability in black heart from the shrine. Okay. Uh. Do we want any of this? Why do you got like two sets of everything? That's a bit weird. 40% extra one handed. Yes, please. Good lord, we need it. That's a cloak. That's a cloak. I don't know what cloak I was wearing now. That's really annoying. Uh, let's put the greybeard mantle on. That's fine. Okay, so what's up here? Apparently part of him. Alright then. Oh, I can't sit on the throne. Lame. I guess that's all we get here. Well, that was surprisingly easy. Let's recharge the mace. We, you never know. With this mace, we might actually stand a chance of beating this. Because, of course, we can't use freaking Vampire Lord anymore. Way to go, Bethesda. Way to fucking go. I pay for it. Do you... <laughs> I pay for the fucking DLC, and I can't even use the Vampire Lord when I want to, because it just completely breaks. Thank God, at least we got the key. What? What the hell was that? What's going on? Okay. Uh, what? What do you mean, soul captured? What, what the hell? Is the mace bugging out? What the? Whose soul am I capturing? Does the mace absorb souls from things you walk past? That might be what's happening here. 
Uh, let's try testing over here. Uh, maybe they don't have souls. I don't know. It's possible. That's all I can think of. It's not doing it anymore now. Hopefully this uh, broken mace will allow... What the hell happened there? Hopefully this uh, broken mace will allow us to actually uh, beat whatever the hell we have to fight in here. God help us. Alright, hopefully our broken mace saves us here. Fuck you! Hey, there we go. Broken mace to the rescue. This guy's gonna slip around all over the place. He's trying to get him in the corner. Ah! You're mine now, buddy. Is this the last boss? If so, um, it's kind of easy with the broken mace. Probably explode on me and needs to kill me. I know this game. Or this mod, I guess. It's not really a game, but it feels like one. I played shorter games. Aha! Let me get your soul. What's he got? What's he got? Black Tormentor. Racist. Your fear is not enough. That sounds like a song. I don't know any of that crap. Alright, what's going on over here? Apparently you are out of stamina. Oblivion Blackheart. Whoa. That is some trippy balls. What just happened? I guess we're not going out that way. Uh, what did the journal say? I wasn't even paying attention. Escape the oblivion. Okay. Uh, I guess we have to go this way. Oh, fuck off. Who said that? Well, you can go down there. Hey. No archery. Hopefully that will kill him. Oh, there's more. Fantastic. Ah, I blocked it. Screw you! Where do I go now? Where do I go now? Genuine question. Do not know where to go. Where do I go? Um, Use the become ethereal so we don't die. Oh, a chest. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. How do we go over there? Uh, how do we go over there? I don't know where to go. Who's this? What's that guy? We're just gonna die in a second, aren't we? We're just gonna, like, completely implode. Seriously, there's some stuff up there and I don't see the way up. Where do I go? Seriously, where do I go? Um. Um. Alright, after like forever of running around this room trying to find where to go, turns out I'm just blind and there's a handle right here. What did it do? Whoa, what the hell? Oh! I guess that's what it does. Okay, why is the moon here? Well, I'm a little weird now. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Run away. Run away from the scary moon. What's this? Tribute. You know I'm strong, eh? Oh, okay. I guess the moon does make sense then. That's, uh... Please tell me this is the way out and not just like a, a, an easter egg for Neil Armstrong. As cool as it is, I... If that's not the way out, then I've, I'm completely lost. This must be the way out, right? Uh... Ouch. Where the hell am I, man? <laughs> What's going on? I'm gonna drown down here. Do I have a spell to uh, breathe underwater? In fact... You can't even cast them underwater, can you? That's so fucking stupid. Damn you, Skyrim and Bethesda. Where do we go? I can't get up there. Oh dear. 
I'm panicking. Yep, we're, we're drowning now. We are drowning. There's a chest, that's always nice. Holy shit. Full set of enchanted dragon scale. Hidden stuff. It's a note about hidden stuff, apparently. This is just an Easter egg, isn't it? Stone door key. Stuff of ice storms. This is cool and everything, but um, oh, it's not a full set. It's, it's close. Uh, it's cool, but uh, I really, really, really hope that this is actually the way out because, like I said, I've been running around in circles. I don't know where to go. Is this a stone door? Yes, it is. Please be the way out. Please. We're drowning. We're still drowning. Oh my god. Is there a way up? Oh, there's no way up. Oh! Oh my god! We're alive! We're alive! Is this the way out? Or is this just gonna take... What does this do? No, that's probably not where we want to go. Uh, which way did we come in? Was it here? I want to say it was here. Possibly? Yeah, but this is the way. Oh my god. Oh my god! I did it! I fucking did it! Oh my god! It took me so long. I died so many times. We finally fucking did it. Oh my god. World's longest load screen! We did it. It took me like a thousand deaths. But we did it. I highly recommend you play this mod. But if you do, have a better character and better gear than I had. Because holy hell was that hard. Like ridiculously hard. Now, that made Dark Souls look like a walk in the park. Okay? But yes, I thoroughly enjoyed that despite all the frustration. And as I told the mod creators, it's not them that I'm frustrated at. There, there was nothing wrong with the difficulty level. I mean, yeah, the guys were super overpowered, but that's kind of the fun of it. It's just that my character sucked, so it made it that much more difficult. So, yeah, I recommend if you do play this, have a good character, have good gear. As a blood-starved vampire, you are hated and feared. Oh, fucking no. Anyway, uh, yeah. Great mod. Great aesthetic design, as I said, like the bone gates and oh, the use of Daedric weapons and stuff, and... There were some cool enemies, you know, like some really tough guys, the guy that was spitting shit and just really crazy boss fights and stuff. Like, really crazy boss fights. The lava, everything just looked absolutely amazing. The scripting was awesome. Like the portal coming up and, and you know, you saw all the custom stuff in there. It was fantastic. It made regular Skyrim look like crap. And there's not many mods that can do that. I cannot give it enough praise. It is fantastic. Just, honestly, one of the greatest mods I've ever played. Probably the greatest I've played for Skyrim. I'd go that far, and it is right up there with some of the greatest that I've played for Oblivion. Without a doubt. The only thing that I think the mod lacks is, like, um, dialogue. It doesn't necessarily need that, but it would have been nice if there was one or two, like, NPCs that you could talk to. Even if, even if it was, like, a Dremora, just, you know, having a bit of banter back and forth, and then you have a fight or something. Uh, like I said, that's probably not necessary, and I'm probably the only person that thinks that, and now the camera's spinning around my character because I've been standing still for so long. But yeah, I, fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. I certainly did, despite all the frustration. Uh, and I will see you soon for more Modlets plays.